Community Matering is an experienced, highly advanced nurse who have done extended courses, clinical skills and prescribing and the look after patients with multiple long-term health conditions. Standard day would be um, going into UHND. We do that on um, a rotor, a weekly rotor. We would go on to Ward 3 and um, do the board round with the staff on the ward, the doctors, nursing staff, a member of the ISIS team. We would then go on to accident and emergency where we have a concerns file and they would identify any patients that maybe would benefit from the community matron input or the ISIS team. We help to facilitate discharges. Out in the community we would go into residential homes and look after people with acute and chronic conditions, try to prevent hospital admissions but also to try and reduce um, GP call-outs and we also go into patients' homes looking after people with long-term conditions, um, frail um, or elderly people. We do have a, um, 18 plus caseload but the majority of people I would say are over the age of 60. To the patient and to the patient's family I think it's very very um, important because they put the trust in where they sometimes would say that in the past they would maybe on a Monday not be feeling well but think the GP or will I call, will I not and maybe wait till the Thursday or Friday before they phone the GP and by the time they actually phone the GP if say it was a chest infection or a urinary tract infection it's got that bad that they end up having to be admitted to hospital for intravenous antibiotics so we can prevent that so I think they do really appreciate um, the service. The community matron um, role has been going now, coming up for 10 years um, and in the beginning obviously because it was a new role nobody knew what we did and we think now you know we've been going for quite a long time, we are making a difference to our patients but ward staff but also community staff as well I think still don't understand you know what we actually do, maybe how do they refer to uh, Sometimes they might be worried, I don't know if that patient would be suitable, so might not make the referral, but what I would say is make the referral, let us be the judge of that, and if they're not suitable, then you know we would signpost them to the right person.